Hello again and welcome back to Dead Space 3. So in our last video we've decided to head to the Gridley instead of the main mission to find some goodies. Although I had some problems editing and all that stuff. Yeah, actually I have to go back and do all the level again from scrap because I was trying to get into that room without the bar thing. But I already took care of that, so... Now we're going to have to go to the other ship, to the main mission, hopefully. And before we do, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment below. As well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Okay, so I've started from the Greeley, from all the way to the Terra Nova. But I'm already here, so I have to do some editing and all that. Let's just go see what... We can find inside the Terra Nova. Locate the term station, something. Expert delay. Expect delay, excuse me. And there's this thing again. Let's just check if we can do some upgrades. No, not the suit. Mm, I kind of have to do some with my hit points and rig and my armor needs some stuff hold up let me do that all right that's good for now did a lot of that and this is the terra nova Let's just move on. Hopefully I can find that. What is that again? The tram station. Let's start with the second floor. I'm sure we can't go to the third floor though. And there is another noise in the background. Sorry about that. I'm finding health everywhere now lately. Warning. Power reserves are on standby. Cargo functions are offline. This must be the control station, control room, excuse me. Let's see what we can get from this. Ship recorder on. All hands stand by for deceleration. Okay, Edwards, on your mark. Roger that, Val. You will address me as Commander while we're on the bridge. You got it, darling. Retro thrusters engaged. Woo! Easy now. The love boat has arrived. I'd like to thank y'all for flying the Terra Nova. Welcome to the ass end of the universe. Okay, everyone, time to shake the lead out. Sikowski, hail Admiral Graves. Kettle, report to Cradle Ops. This is your show now. Let's deploy the ships. Recording off. Alright, so let's just move on now. Oh, there's something else. Let's see. Alright, that was just another noise. Sorry about that. 
And we got ourselves the hack back. Similar to that. Just do what you have to do. Hack it in and get through it. Isaac here. It looks like our shuttle's in the aft section of the ship. I'm updating our locators now. Okay, just tell me it'll get us to the nearest shipping lane. If we can get it spaceworthy again. Judging from the diagnostic, it's a real piece of shit. We can get it to work, can't we? We're swimming in a sea of spare parts. I can get it to fly. Yeah, sure. We'll make this work. All right, I was just trying to check on something because I felt the vibration, the vibration of the controller. So basically, we're gonna have to find some parts to fix the ship to escape the other ship, Terra Nova. Everything seems clear. Nothing unusual. Pinball machine. Have seen this in a thousand years. Hmm. Too bad I can't play it. And I got myself a cowboy hat. Alright, moving on. This place is a mess. Oh, look who... <laughs> company. Missed. Well, you know what? You did. Both of you, actually. Man, my shots are bad this lately. stuff soon because this isn't getting me anywhere canister yes I already took care of that so in my last video when I was trying to get into the room there was nothing in there just I thought it was gonna be like a secret item or file fortunately it's just an extra weapon part that's good I mean, I could have just skipped that instead, but I just want to be a completionist. I'm going to go up. Because basically that's just going to slow them down. Not this time, bitch. Everything is going at the same time.
I can't even be able to get through this in one piece. Or in this case, pieces. Well, there's more of these items. Let's see what's down here. scavenger bot. This will come in handy. So now you found a thing called the scavenger bot. This thing here can detect any trash or junk. Just follow the scent signal. If it's all glowing automatically like for instance, just follow the arrow like this. This helps you find more items. Right here, for example. When it's glowing like that, then there are a lot of stuff here, so... All you have to do is just place the scavenger bot in the floor and let it do its job finding all the parts you need. It also means... It will also meet up with you later in the bench, right there, just says it there. So let's just move on and let the scavenger bot do its work. Or I like good, or I like to call it my little buddy. I really cannot speak today. It's been a couple of days since I got sick. I was in having a fever and all that, but I'm all right now. And I'm guessing something's coming to pop out anytime. See what I mean? something. Guess not. Now I heard that. I was gonna... I was trying to get that from him. And I need to put it down because it's a bit loud. The volume. one you're still getting how are you tr doing all that you don't have any arms and let oh you got a leg but now you're dead that is very weird still after me without any limbs all right Enough messing around, let's go. Oh great. These things again. This makes it even harder for me to just kill these guys. Oh. 
This isn't going anywhere for me, so I'm going to try to do my upgrade with one of my weapons. I'm not doing the line gun. Let's see what I can craft from here. I'm gonna do more damage. Mm, probably I can, okay. That's good. Let's try this. Reload. Fire rate. And some clips. Now that's done. Let's see if we can craft something from here. No. Possible, but... Not strong enough. You know, I could just push, push somebody out of the way. That'll work. And that's good for now. So let's just do our upgrade with this and see if this makes it easier for me the heavy standard machine gun with the force gun so now I have two parts of my weapon let's see another Tex Or at least that's strong enough to blow these little guys away. This must be the station. That oh my god. Is that the pregnant? It is. Good lord. This one looks different. Ugh, this one is different than the previous one. This looks like a moist chicken. The one in the last two games is more... Walk more straight and... Not straight, but... More tough looking and intimidating. Hopefully that's the last of them. And there's more of these guys coming my way. Another one. And that's another thing. Most of these enemies are less intimidating than the last game. I mean, their appearance, though, but... I don't think that's good enough. Alright, so this is the Tran. I'm right here, so I'm going to have to go right in the end. But first, I'm going to have to go to the middle station. Mid station, in other words. And I can't keep running for... Oh, that's not. That's kind of helpful.
Actually, that is helpful. Instead of trying to use my weapon on them, I could just push them back. And I got myself an axe from these guys. Let's just press this and see if this opens up for me. Or not. Guys, something's blocking the tram system. Cradle Op should be nearby. You can see the tracks from there. Thanks, Buckle. I'll check it out. I guess that we're gonna have to check out what's the problem. Wait, there's something else? No, I thought I heard something. And whenever I'm trying to run, I keep rolling. That's pretty irritating. Another reason why I don't like this part of the game. And the scavenger bot is make its way to the the bench. More of these guys. And the guardian is back too. I don't know what's going on. I was too busy while well, my hand was slippery. Time to shut this guy up. And instead of shooting the pods, they now shoot those little parasite things. And that's new, whenever I try punching something in the flag of flesh, it shows that special effect, not the effect, but the glowing animation. Glowing effect, I don't know. I can't talk, you see what I mean? Let's just get out of here. Get this over. We get to see the view of the center of the ship. Hey, Commander. You there? If you're gonna ask about the cryo boxes, forget it. Cryo boxes? These are coffins, Deets. They're freezing soldiers on the planet and stowing them in our cargo hold. What's the story? You know I can't talk about it. Valerie, come on. You owe me, remember? Look, I don't know much more than you do. It's the Deep Dig teams. They send them into that godforsaken hole and... Well, when they come back, there's... There's something wrong. Look, just get them stowed. I've got Mahad breathing down my neck. Fine. But this isn't going to end well. Mark my words. Right. So, that explains the entire... Oh, and there's the scavenger bot. Back home, buddy. So basically they explain the corpses that are in the coffin that's been there for 200 years. And somehow the marker turned the mummified corpses into the necromorphs that are mummified. But enough said, let's go see what our friend have brought me. My buddy, 
That's what I'm going to call him from now on. My little buddy or buddy or something like that. And we also got this from the Guardian. Actually, I should have just do some... Hold up. Modification with the... Let me see what I can do. Hold up. Oh, yeah. There's also a s upper part for my thing. Plasma cutter. Ammo support. Scope. Stasis. That nice. Stasis. Okay, shoot has large range. Okay. That seems nice. I'm going to have to go with the stasis support. No, that's it. Stasis. This one. And let's see if I can find... See if I can make some health in all ammos. I got plenty of that, actually. Do I? No, no, I do not. Let me just sell this. And get busy with this one. Looks like I'm good for now. Still working and pretty cool looking. All right, let's see what this. Okay, I see the problem now. Someone left a bunch of cargo on the tracks. Can you clear it? I should be able to. I'll get to that shuttle and aft section one way or another. Right, so like, like I was saying, we're going to have to do some cargo moving and all that. Let's just check what's here first. Another part for the plasma carter. And there's nothing there, so... Just leave it alone for now. Alright, so now we can do the crates. Move the crates out of the way. Pretty simple. You're going to have to match some of the items with the exact position. Like that. Just keep on doing it until we can get the cargo closer by. Pretty simple. I mean, who would have thought we have puzzle in a Dead Space game? I don't think they had puzzle in the previous game. I can't remember. And I think I see something moving over there. One of the crates. Cargos or whatever. The last one. What is that? I'm guessing that's a new necromorph. I'm not sure. And it's trying to get out. But it looks like it's not working for him. Nasty. Eh. Alton Bay 4. 
Containment breach detected. Biological anomalies are present. Please use caution. Now that's done, let's head back to the... Let's head back to the tram to see if we can get it running. Well, I was trying to say. This guy. Missed. Come on, shoot at me again. Yeah, pretty simple. Like I said, it's easy once you know how to kill these guys. And I just need to lower the volume down again because it's pretty loud. Let's move on. But first, let's just go back to the bench once more to see if we, if we can do the same to the weapon craft, the same with this one. Let's see, much powerful. Well, unfortunately, we don't have enough, so let's just get out of here. Still, I wish I could just change this machine gun to run fa to shoot faster. I just had to um, press the trigger repeatedly instead of holding it. It would be much easier. And, ooh! and that was a bad call. That was weird. Not good. Always stay down whenever an um, elevator is falling off. Or not. Is that actually the safe thing to do? Whenever an elevator is falling off, falling down, you have to lie down or duck or whatever. And let's see what this says now. Tucker Edwards, can you come to Cradle Ops, please? I need your help with the incoming cryo boxes. Hey, Tuck. You there? Oh, screw off, Sam. My job was flying your asses over here, not wiping them once we arrived. You're a lazy prick, Tucker. You know that, right? I come from a long line of lazy pricks, Sam. Get Sikowski to help you with your little monster farm. That brown noser will do anything to impress the commander. This mission is a group effort, Tucker. And one of these days, you're gonna have to take one for the team. One of these days, Sam. But not today. I'm guessing that there's a hint of a mission, side mission, coming up. Just to be sure. Hey guys, if you're running low on ammo, don't forget your kinesis module. Here, I found this recording when I was stuck on Titan Station. Whoever sees this, listen up. You can use Kinesis to pull blades off dead ones and shoot it back at them. Watch. Watch. I stayed alive three hours using this trick. You see? Just shoot it back at them. So basically that's just another 
easy way to use an enemy against their attack. Pull off their limbs and use it against them. Anyway, this is the area where I have to... Where all the crates and cargoes are stored. You know what? Let me check something real quick. Really wasn't necessary, but... Yeah, there's nothing there. That wasn't necessary. Eh, just an example. This one seemed to be offline. It's not working anymore. And this is the cargo hold. All that stuff that is always going to the North Pole to Santa Claus, but never got the letters. Actually, this area does seem look. A lot familiar. Almost like a cookie cutter design. Oh look, there's our friend again. Oh, and I'm guessing that that's where the necromorph dog came from. Or not. Uh-oh. Not a smart move, though. Oh shit! This one's regenerating! How are you going to kill it? I'm not! So now we have the new enemy, or classic, the regenerator. Very similar to the hunter, but not exactly threatening. It's going to be another common enemy. You'll be running, encountering these guys numerous times. Let's just ignore him. I was going to say ignore him, but I'm already tangled up right now. And I'm dead. Alright, I was distracted, so let's just ignore these guys and move on to our objective. Pretty simple to kill the regenerator's leg, shoot it off, helps it distract them, making it easier for us to make it on time. But I thought you were right. Yeah, I can focus on talking because I just need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Let me see if I can do my crafting in the bench before the regenerator gets me. I don't think it was a good idea, but I have to 
Make it quick. I don't need you. What's going on? Nothing. I don't have time for this. Alright, now that's done, let's open the tram. Oop! Scared me a little. Now we're gonna have to wait until it opens. And just keep busy, this guy. In the meantime. Oh great, there's two of them. And I'm dead. Out of here. God, I hate those things. Okay, uh, I made it to the tram. Looks like it stops at the mid and aft station. The aft station's where the shuttle is parked. And what about mid station? Well, that would be the conning tower. Hey, now this is interesting. Records indicate a number of useful tools and salvage were signed out from storage there by a Lieutenant Tucker Edwards. Could be worth a look. Thanks. If I check it out, I'll let you know. Isaac out. Looks like we got away that easy. As I was saying, we got away from those things that easily. Hopefully. And now we're in the middle of the station. Let me just see how much health I got. Just hope more of these things doesn't follow me.
All right, made it safe and sound. Let's see what's in this office. Another one of these things. And something else. Texas Longhorns. What's it doing here? The symbol. And a message. I'm sorry, Tucker. But you heard Mahad's announcement. We're facing a Scenario 5 situation. Scenario 5? What the hell does that even mean? It means you have to die. We all do. If we don't, he'll just send someone over to do it for us. Come on, Valerie. Just put that down. I'm sorry. They don't have to know. I'm so sorry. I'm... Not as sorry as I am, Commander. And if any one of them jacked up jarheads tries to come for me, they'll be sorry too. That was intense. So now we have our side mission, but we're not going to be doing that right now because we're going to call it a day. So thank you for watching my video. And if there's anything that interests you, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below. And until then, I'll see you again in the next video.